Hi Aquarius, welcome. So this reading is for Aquarius all placements, but if you're not Aquarius and you find yourself here, there's definitely a message for you. Yes, yes, and yes. So as I was tapping into the energy, it was interesting. I started drawing the Aquarius symbol and then I started drawing it up and then it looked like a brush. It looked like I was drawing a brush and then it felt like I was in your spine and I was like connecting into your spine and then I drew the other side so it was almost like um, like your your cells your DNA or um, your spinal cord is getting sweeped which is reminding me of like a kundalini awakening that you either are going through or is about to come all right there's something going on there's some kind of balance that you're working towards, all right, um, increasing joy, so balancing out your life with pleasure and joy, okay, um, don't be so serious, um, <laughs> yeah, don't be so serious, don't be, it's, it's time to get silly, that energy, yeah, they're playing get silly, get silly, get silly, that's so funny, um, yes, and then, that's a yeah i'm hearing some of you're saying welcome i'm janice welcome to the visionary haha <laughs> that's so funny so then the dna it turned into like a backpack so it's like you're carrying this around so there's something that there also we had an image do not laugh when you see this okay because i was just drawing what came to me and I was trying to draw a koala do not okay and this is my koala that I that I drew okay and so there's this energy see you coming into balance in the brain and um those up the upper chakras your third eye coming into like this this balance that you can't be knocked off right because you're coming into your crown energy and so you're carrying this koala or this joy this new something you're carrying it you're nurturing it so is this energy of you nurturing um nurturing yourself self-care so that way you can get this full dna activation you yeah, have a bunch bunches of stuff that i've been drawing so let's just get back over here yeah and so if you want to see this is kind of what it was looking like so see and then i drew this so look at brush and, it, and I could feel it. I could feel the brush brushing your DNA. So it's like um, kundalini activations. What else is going in? Stress and tension is being brushed out. There's um, trauma that's being released from your spine as well. Trapped emotions being released from your spine. So you might be at this time, you might be wanting to do a lot of back bends, a lot of neck bends. You might be doing, you might be called to be doing more yoga. Um, uh, you might be doing, uh, you know, cat dog, these kinds of things just really stretching your spine twisting your spine you might be doing lots of just twists for your spine and things like that um that are just helping you to release the trapped emotions also what's coming through is uh different things like um the the scorpion pose uh different things to just release your shoulders release your upper back release the neck so doing um kundalini yoga also to help to release the trapped emotions and to activate your 10 bodies okay um that kind of stuff you either are doing or you're going to be called to do all right and that's going to facilitate this uh another a kundalini awakening which um is is very life-changing it's leading to this energy of transformation it's almost like you're allowing your heart to be transformed um you're allowing your mind to be restored right but through this restoring of the mind your heart is being transformed and you're being you're being activated to a higher level of joy abundance health wealth um a higher level of receiving so what also came through was lunar cycles and um manifestation babe i think manifestation babe is a is a thing i think somebody has that or they call themselves that i'm not sure maybe you call yourself that or maybe you're watching this or maybe you're going to be called to it um also lunar cycles 
you understanding how to manifest with the different phases of the moon okay that really coming in um and they're pointing out that the t-shirt i'm wearing is a zion t-shirt and it's that energy of you really going into the depth and discovering this whole new world all right so also aladdin coming out i can't remember it's a reading from before i can't remember if it was like magic carpet but it was um I believe from last year when we talked about the magic carpet and you being the genie of your life right a whole new world and there's also a partner that's coming in to help create this whole new world with you and it's going to be created through um immense joy and happiness all right i feel like um there it's not a trauma bonding thing but there are th things uh childhood wounds inner child things that you're going to be able to heal with this partner however this partner is i do feel like it's going to be physical because i can feel i can feel them the warmth of them next to you so i do feel like it's it's going to be in the physical that it's not necessarily like a new guide or um you know or a new uh, ascendant master that you're working with or anything like that i do feel it's in the physical and what came out with that is reconciliation um old partnerships and renewing so it might be like people that you connected to from the past are coming back in and you're gonna have a renewed partnership in some way shape or form or maybe it's just because your heart is like opening a lot more that you're able those uh some of the relationships that you may have had in the past you're you're now ready for a higher love and whoever this is coming from the past or coming back uh they also too have done a lot of shadow work they've gone through dark night of the soul you know this is this is high vibe so again it's not like trauma bonding it's this energy of um you know let's let's play together let's discover let's explore and wow what can we create together you know it's that kind of energy and it's all coming from unconditional love because i saw 6 uh, 42 that just came up so it's all coming from uh unconditional love right and it's also it's it's this energy of um an unworld unwhirling and unraveling to allow you to get down into into your heart to work into coming into sacred union within your heart and when you do that you're able to come to a sacred union with your soul family okay so definitely this person is soul family i just saw 714 um so that's also confirmation that spirit is leading you to healing with the the seven and the 14 right yes yes and yes Okay, um, stepping onto, onto the path and walking away. So the cards that are coming up is uh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Ten of Swords is coming up. And, but I feel the sunshine. I feel you walking toward the light. So it's this energy of you being in, you being in the back of the mirror. All right, the back of the mirror is is the darkness. If you think of a mirror, in the back of it, it's dark. So it's like you were in the back of the mirror, or you are in the back of the mirror, and it's that Eight of Swords energy, okay? And you peering through, right? And you actually seeing your higher self come through. So now what's coming through is this uh, it's two cards that are coming through. It's the High Priestess, all right? Um, so number two the high priestess and then also what's the other card it's the higher font number five okay so this is really powerful because you're peering out and on the other side looking through and you see the light right the light is shining you can see through is your uh, high priestess energy and the higher font energy which is powerful all right this is you coming into your full magician energy your full alchemist energy your ability to transform to transform the energy within you which is coming back to why you are basically you re, you know that you're you carry something very valuable within you and you are pouring into yourself to allow this this kind of egg to hatch okay you're nurturing this right even though the koala was like a, a, a newborn baby kind of like um and you were like carrying it i do feel there's this energy of um whatever it is that you hold inside of you is being protected by this and i'm hearing a faberge egg is being protected and when the time is right the egg will fully open right 
yeah so there's some kind of um you might even be doing i just heard fertility treatments so some of you might be be doing that right now um to have a baby to get pregnant right so that might be that thing that you're really taking care of your mind body and spirit preparing your body to to hold this new baby all right others of you you can see this as all right hold on i'm starting to get a little ungrounded um so others of you, you may see this as a, a new project, right? You preparing your mind, body, and spirit for this new project. And um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He anoints my head with oil and my cup run up over. I am one with the earth. I allow my heart to open. And with that, you come into this energy of huge. You come into the energy of the rainbow. You come into the energy of alignment. You come into the energy of uh of ascension okay so now i feel your energy so now i feel your energy walking through the mirror okay you're now walking through the mirror and and now there's this, this beautiful bright color that is coming in and you're allowing yourself to be transformed. You're allowing yourself to be transformed. You're allowing yourself to be renewed. All right. So you're coming into a greater sense of peace. Okay. And also remember that the two and the five for the higher front and right that energy is a seven so you're coming into to full alignment with your soul and you're allowing yourself to explore this new space okay so this new space it's um a midriff of colors and you're seeing everything um as as they truly are okay so you're also not only just seeing you're not only just seeing like bright colors you're also seeing the dark colors which is enabling you to have this uh clear discernment okay and also it's this energy of you're not judging okay you're not judging what you're seeing but you're having the power to know which way to go you're clearly seeing the path of fear and the path of love you're clearly seeing the path of faith you're clearly seeing it and you're able to walk that way and that's why uh, spirit said that you're stepping on to a new path and you're also walking away so that's why we started out with the ten of swords energy right yeah those are the colors yeah and i'm hearing a whole new world they're singing it very strongly now yeah and um there's this energy christ consciousness is protecting you the whole way you know so there's this thing of inviting in you know uh, christ at light inviting in gold light um if that feels better to you just invite in gold light open yourself to receive this gold light all right and that's your protection okay but it's also it's it's your healer too so golden healer uh, so what's coming up is golden healer quartz working with that right now maybe you are or maybe it's an invitation to work with it and i just heard a chrysophagus all right so this is also this reawakening this resurrection i'm the resurrection in the life and thought and in feeling so also again there's a deeper awakening of your egyptian the egyptian pantheon coming in very strongly um the energy of raw coming in very strongly and that's also why the energy of the sun is here or it may just be other uh ascendant masters or dts that worked with the sun energy so working with uh yeshua jesus christ working with uh golden energy working with the energy of the sun working with um the energy of the stars because remember that the sun is just a huge big star so you could be working with any of these kind of things working with osiris um i just heard blue star so you might be working with sirius you might be working Working with Isis um, at this time, the Divine Mother, and in other uh, other other DTs, ascendant masters that work in the energy of unconditional love. Okay, so like Mother Mary, um, you know uh, Mary Magdalene, um, uh, Mary of Bethany, um, Kali, um, 
Sarah Kali, you might be working with Mother Teresa, you might be working just with Divine Feminine Energy, working with Esther, working, um, there's something with Celine, so working with uh, the moon, right, Quan Yin, working with, so DTs of the moon as well, and this is because you are inviting in, uh, it's a, it's a conscious reality where you are releasing all illusions and delusions, right? You're releasing all illusions and delusions and you're allowing yourself to, to be fully present in the moment. And you're also uh, stopping yourself from projecting what it is that would make you feel better onto someone rather than seeing them for themselves. So this is also you seeing yourself as you truly are all right so releasing any kind of lies so your throat chakra is getting a big upgrade as well any kind of lies forgiving lies that you've told yourself forgiving lies you've told other people forgiving lies that you've held for other people um knowing it wasn't the truth but you just supported them anyway you know all of that and that is going to help uh this i'm seeing ace of pentacles and ace of wands is coming up all right so there's this energy of your expression all right, especially with the kundalini awakening coming in your expression uh help being prospering for you but you also seeing your your expression your creative abilities as as a gift as a solid gift and you nurturing that as well all right so the things that you like may change the things you watch may change the things you eat may change um the things that you, you used to find joy in may change because you're you're tapping into a deeper level of not only your psyche but also of your heart yeah becoming one and so and that's and that's it that's it becoming one wow that's really beautiful so also to um allowing your energy just to stay super grounded um and, and i know that might be it might be difficult or you're just having to find new ways to be grounded, right? So that means just tap into your intuition, all right? Your high priestess energy, you know, tap into your inner child, ask your inner child, what is it that you need? You know, ask your high priestess, what is it that we need at this time? Um, you can even, uh, you know, touch onto your body and ask your body, what is it that we need at this time? Touch on your throat, ask your throat, what is it that we need at this time? You know, um, wherever you're feeling tension or tightness, you know, touch that area either with your mind or with your physical hand. Ask what do, what is needed at this time, okay? And then follow that uh, unwavering, unwavering faith and confidence moving forward. All right, that's the also the energy of uh, the King of Pentacles. Thank you, and also energy of the Emperor. Okay, so you're bringing um, structure in and strategy also into your creative world by focusing on. Um, abiding in in self-love abiding in self-care focusing on that abiding in the law of of unconditional love and that is how you're you're building your light that is how you're building your your resilience and also there might be other things in your physical reality that you may need to do to build your resilience like the yoga um your supplements your diet uh what are you listening to i'm receiving a download um Walk away, child. Walk away, child. Walk away, child. Walk away, child. Mm. Embrace your victory. Embrace your victory. Open arms. Open arms, embrace your victory. I am embracing my victory with open arms. I'm embracing my victory with open arms. I'm coming into balance with what I believe to be true. I'm coming into balance with everything that is. 
Mm -hmm. my divinity unconditional love alignment yes indeed i'm coming into balance with divine authority everything that is not alignment with me now does fall away it devolves it dissolves away i walk away i walk away i walk away i am becoming one i'm becoming the true me stepping on my path of divinity i walk high i walk tall yes yes indeed even if i have to climb i know it's no feet at all because i am me and i am claiming all of my divine authority so you're claiming your power you know with every breath you're claiming your power no longer giving it away with people pleasing no longer giving it away with self-sacrifice no longer giving it away with moderating you you're claiming your power fully and spirit says take your time i'm seeing a campfire Remember that was coming through. I go, I go, I ne. Oh, talking about fina, anna ne. Talking about fina ne. Talking about hey now, hey now. Yes. All right. So it's like a TP energy. Um, great spirit is definitely just like coming through so super strongly, and um, it just. If you're not feeling the spirit, if you're not feeling the presence of God within you or around you or in your life, if you're not feeling the presence of your ancestors of great spirit, if you're not feeling the presence, you know, of divine feminine and the masculine guides in your life, just invite them in, you know, and thank them, you know, thank the angels for their presence, thank, thank the divine for the presence in your life, for showing up for you, for showing you that they're working in your life. And every time you see a synchronicity, every time you see something that reminds you that I'm here for you, okay, that reminds you that um i got you you're not walking alone you need not be afraid because i am with you you know anytime you you get anything that is 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 proof of that um in any way shape or form even if it's just a feeling just be grateful and say thank you for that you know even if you get like this you just this happiness and you just smile because in this moment you just feel so damn alive so damn good just say thank you for that because remember that gratitude multiplies Okay, and so the universe will bring you more of that which you are grateful for. Yes, yes, and yes. And so with that as well, when you catch yourself starting to complain about something, ask yourself, how can I see this from a higher perspective? All right? Yeah, because complaining decreases. Yes, yes, and yes. So see it from a higher perspective, which you are getting the upgrades that are needed to see all from a higher perspective, and you're getting the strength. Um, you're getting the tools to to become resilient so that you can walk through with unwavering faith and confidence walk tall stand tall yes yes and we're going to share with you one last thing that came through and it's this energy of the fool all right so becoming one i love that in order to become one, you must release everything that you think you know. In order to become one, you must release and surrender all resistance, all control. You must surrender the path, right? To become one, you must surrender your past. Yes, become one. You have to be surrendered. You have to allow your energy to flow. Um, you can't hold on to grief, resentment, sorrow. Uh, you, you just have to let go, right? And I just saw 22, 27, all right? That might be confirmation for somebody. So get ready to receive yeah forward movement yes yes so what it is is doing this full card is about doing a trust fall it's about letting everything go and just falling off the cliff trusting that whatever it is that you need for this fall okay and the fall isn't like a bad fall this is you surrendering letting go this is you having strong faith knowing that whatever is needed um is going to come and so what happens is you feel yourself doing this free fall and this is spirit goes like this all right and and like kind of flicks you off but you're no longer like you're not holding on to anything so it's very easy and you flick off and you just fall backwards and you're falling backwards and there's this energy of trying to resist the fall and the more you resist the fall the harder the fall is the harder the transformation right the harder the, the simpson the ascension symptoms are right and so you gradually say okay let's come back to the breath and you're breathing 
and you're just feeling, you're hearing the wind, you're feeling the wind, you're connecting into the presence, right? You're connecting into unconditional love, you're connecting into that God goddess energy, and you're just feeling that, and all your stress and anxiety are just be beginning to fall away from you. And you're asking yourself, Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? As you're falling, Who am I? I am not this body, I am not this mind. And as you're saying these things to you, I am not these clothes, I'm not this job, I am not the these relationships as you're saying this you're feeling lighter and the fall is getting slower because you're not as heavy anymore you're, it's almost it's like you're beginning to float because all of these things you're just letting go and they're falling off of you right you're no longer looking down to see how much time do you have before you hit the ground you're no longer trying to figure out what can I do to save myself you're no longer even trying to figure that out you're in the energy of there is nothing to save i'm i'm perfect in this in this presence right where i am you know and that all is well and i don't have to do anything you know the tree doesn't have to figure out how to get water or sunlight the tree just grows okay so you're understanding this concept and you're feeling yourself and the more you're feeling lighter you're like okay this is working the more i surrender my life actually gets easier the the more i surrender this to this new beginning the easier it is and then it finally clicks and you say who am I pure consciousness I have no body I have no weight I'm pure consciousness and when you do that everything just drops off of you and you're floating because you're in this energy of just pure just pure energy pure consciousness and you're floating and in that space you realize that you can do be or become anything that you want you can explore anywhere you want because you are pure consciousness you are everything at once right so you don't need to hold on to anything and whatever whatever you feel you want to embody at the time you just become it you just become it right so within that you never actually hit the ground you transform okay into that that you truly are so this is kind of like what you're going through becoming one yeah stepping onto the path becoming one stepping onto the path becoming one so we're going to end it here i do feel we're going to be doing a pick a card um which we'll probably do pick a card we'll share it with members first and then uh then we'll post it at some point for you guys um because that pick a card will be uh i believe it will be a seeker's pick a card okay yes yes and yes and um just thank you guys so very much namaste to everyone sending you so much unconditional love big love yes very exciting times you know if there was one thing that you took from this it would be uh just to allow you know i'm, I'm allowing myself to to just feel who i truly am and in that you get lighter and lighter um and also with that that also means that you're gonna need to ground more okay mm -hmm. yeah because when you become pure consciousness it's very easy to stay in the higher realms it's very easy uh you know to, to to stay in into that but remember that in order for you to to experience the that higher energy in the physical you have to be grounded okay so yes 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 this energy of feeling safe enough to allow yourself to create the roots to anchor into the core of mother earth while you are in this energy of pure consciousness right so it's this this give this give and receive energy that you're just in this constant state of giving and receiving which is the breath inhale mm -hmm. i i am i am receiving and exhale i am giving so remember that when there's times of high anxiety where you're feeling imbalanced where you're not feeling yourself return to the breath return to nature return to the things that nurture yourself um that care for yourself you know find new things that that light you up set the intention i'm going to light up today i intend to light up today and then see what that brings into your reality what are the things that you do i also just saw 2828 so um 
I love that because it's 1010 portal energy. So also that lion's gate energy is sending you into the portal of true love and to the portal of your heart's true desire, which for some of you is a relationship and that is coming for you. But uh, spirit reminds you that you have to love yourself and be in love with yourself and when you're in that space then you are attracting that same energy because that's energy that you're vibrating at that you are that you are giving out okay yes yes and yes so thank you guys so very much and yeah we'll see you in the next one oh let me know where you are viewing this from i i love to know where you're from and then also if it resonated with you or if you if you liked it anyway go ahead hit the like button and just let me know what what synchronicities hit for you in the comments if you're willing to share that yes okay also um if you have any songs that you want to add to the playlist living the good life um if songs that get you into that vibe of you just feeling like you're living the good life put them in the comments and i'll add it to the aquarius playlist okay yes um if you want to contact me my information excuse me if you want to contact me my information is in the description box thank you guys bye